Okay, guys. Um, so I kind of wanted to do another uh, go identification thing. I know um, one of the things I really enjoy every week is watching the Rocky Mountain Goat Alliance and their um, videos on identifying if it's a Billy or a Nanny. So, you know, I thought it'd be kind of fun to, for me to, to do one. So, um, here on the screen, I kind of, what I did is I just typed in, um, into Instagram hashtag mountain goat hunting and it brought up a whole bunch of pictures of, um, a lot of dead goats, a lot of goats people have killed, but at the same time, a lot of different goats, um, on the hoof. And so I kind of like to do that. I'm assuming that most goats that people kill are billies. I'm not going to say that all of them are, but most of them are. And so, um, I think it's just a little bit more fun if you just kind of find a picture and kind of dissect it. So the first thing, without even zooming into this picture, you want to, I kind of notice is that it's obviously early season um, because the goat's hair isn't, isn't that long. You know, it might even be summer. Um, so let's zoom in a little, oh, 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 a little bit here if we can. Um, Maybe it won't let me. Yeah, there we go. So the first thing you're going to look at um, is the nose. And this is what has been throwing me off. This is kind of a hard, this is a hard one. Um, I'm not going to lie. Just from having a picture, obviously in the field you'll have real time. The goats will be moving around and you'll be able to see. But with, before analyzing the horns, I kind of want to just go off of um, body features to see if you can kind of get a gist of, um, what you, what you should look for in a goat. So looking at this right here, looking at the shape of the goat's face, it almost, I mean, it looks like it's, um, it looks very straight, you know, and it might be because the goat is almost turned on an angle. Like it's going up the hill kind of on an angle. Um, and so it might be because the you can see kind of the back of its nose. It might have Roman nose, but um, I think it's um, more characteristic of a nanny, that nose right there. Very straight, very muzzle-like, almost like a horse. Um, number two, the uh, legs. You can't see any pantaloons, but once again, that's pretty common for a lot of goats in the early seasons, um, summer and up until, you know, August, early September. So even, even into October sometimes. Um, but what makes it kind of controversial is the analysis of the horns. I mean, look how thick those horns are. Um, you can, if you can, if you're comparing it to the eye, I don't know if I've explained this yet, on my page, but one of the things that a lot of, um, a lot of, not websites, but like, I know Alaska has a few slides on how to identify a Billy and Colorado has some, and I mean, Utah has a quiz, but that's kind of iffy. Um, but I mean, Alaska and Colorado's is, is pretty good. I think Idaho's is pretty good as well, if I remember right, but the thing with mountain goats, like I've previously said, is the billies will have fairly thick horns. And so the um, horns on here, you can kind of see, are about the size of the eye, about the width of the eye, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, and so... A lot of these government or these fish and game agencies will say that if it's about the size or thicker than the eye, that means it's about, I can't remember the exact measurements, if it's two inches. All I know is if it's, if it's bigger than the eye, then it's usually a billy. It has pretty big bases. I have seen a few nannies that have had very large bases. However, with those ones, you could tell from the horns, they were a very um, didn't have a continuous curvature. It was very, um, straight up for the first two thirds, then back for the last third. So, 
Um, yeah, keep that in mind. If the horns are about as thick or thicker than the width of the eye, then it's usually a billy. Um, and then kind of going into the curvature of the horns, I guess I can't zoom in any further. Maybe if I hold it, whoops. Okay, it's not gonna work. But um, once again, from this angle, hard to tell, but from what I can see from this front horn, the back horn, the angle is really bad. Um, but the front horn, it almost looks like it's a continuous curvature. Um, but that, that once again, that might be because the goat is almost angled, um, quartering to us just a little bit. Um, so all in all, you know, I don't, there isn't a conclusive answer for me on this. I won't give an definitive, event, definitive answer, but I would say this is probably a young, um, a young Billy, younger Billy, at least. Um, the horns don't seem too long, but it looks like a fairly, um, you know, maybe two and a half, three, three and a half years old, uh, Billy. So, um, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Take a look at it. Um, pause the video if you need to, and, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.